Hi, I think a lot of people try to recover and I definitely tried to recover. I have recovered and I am going to stick with that even if I have ups and downs, but I have made a lot of errors and I've had a lot of bad thinking about recovery and I wanted to share some of my mistakes and mistaken mindsets to help. So here are five ways that I think that people mess up in recovery. And one of them is what I said in the beginning, trying to recover. Recently, I've been reading Atomic Habits, and it was really emphasizing the point of don't say that you are trying. Say what you want to be. Think of it as I'm not trying to recover. I am a recovering person. And that kind of takes away that excuse of trying. Instead of thinking, I'm trying to recover, and what would I do if I were trying to recover, which shows kind of a, a fork in the road. You can either try to recover or not. Say, what would a recovered person do in this scenario? Would a recovered person choose the lowest calorie thing on the menu? Or would a recovered person get what they actually desire? And I think that even if you can't follow through, we're going to talk about perfectionism later, even if you can't follow through and you don't, you have your fails in recovery, at least you're not lying to yourself. At least you're acknowledging, hey, you know, I think a recovered person would do this. Maybe I'm not able to do that right now, but this is what a recovered person to, would do and I want to be that. And at least acknowledging that can kind of put in perspective what, what your ideal identity should be. I think a lot of people have, I'm trying in recovery, and I think that they need to shift that identity from trying to, I am a recovering person. And I think that will put in place a lot of the confusing things. Instead of worrying, have I done this enough? Have I done that enough? Would a recovered person even worry about that? Or would they just continue eating what they should eat and what they want to eat? when they should eat it. Number two is they don't know what healthy is. I didn't know what healthy was. And for so long I was living in this unhealthy state, I reached for something that would tell me what healthy is. What BMI should I be? How many calories should I consume? What should I eat? Should, 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 what, what, what? I think that a lot of people in this space of healing want to grasp onto something because there's so much unknown and having that number or uh, just a level to strive for is really helpful, but it's not realistic. And I think that it's definitely shifted. I think if you are in this stage of try seeking recovery, being a recovering person, your recommendations, your algorithm is going to be completely screwed. You're going to have what I eat in the day. You're going to be how to be that girl. You're going to be bombarded with these healthy influencers and all these fit and healthy bodies. And you don't know what healthy means because honestly, healthy looks like a celebrity. And <laughs> we know that celebrities have plastic surgery. We know that celebrities have very unhealthy means and a lot of money to get what they are idealizing as healthy. And there's so much behind every person that you don't know what these people are doing outside of the, what they're eating. Are they swallowing on camera or are they spitting it out? Are they starving themselves in the meantime or are they starving themselves on camera? They're just touting it as, I feel great. You know, I could have said I felt great when I was anorexic because that's what her mindset is. I was super active. People saw me and said, oh my gosh, you have a dream body at a certain point. I didn't, but they did say that when I was way thinner and I was not healthy. And I've always been a hired weight person. So for a large part of my eating disorder, I was in the healthy weight category, but I was still just as sick, especially in quasi recovery. So these, these methods of BMI calculators and calorie goals, they're going to tell you nothing. They're going to tell you what you should be according to the calculator, but that's not what you actually should be. And the really discomforting answer is 
you don't know how long you're going to be in this hurting place. You don't know how many pounds you're going to gain. You don't know how many calories you're going to consume. But you know that you are a recovering person and you are going to strive to do what a recovered person should would do. So don't go off of a BMI calculator or a calorie counting calculator or some person on Instagram. Focus on what would a recovered person do? Number three is confusing symptoms with healing. Just because you gain weight doesn't mean you're healing. Just because you get your period back doesn't mean that you're healed. I guess it's more they might signify that you're healing and that you're striving for betterment. But just add that you don't have to be underweight to be suffer with an eating disorder. Similarly, just because you get your period doesn't mean you're healed. Just because you gained X amount of pounds doesn't mean you're healed. And knowing that yes, I'm so happy you got something back that you needed to get or you gained weight in a way that you needed to gain. That's great. What a great step. Congratulations. Keep going. Just because you got these things doesn't mean that your healing is done. And hyper fixating on that is maybe a sign that you're not done healing. For I think is false expectations. If you're watching this channel, you're probably watching a lot of recovery channels, trying to gain information on what it is like. And a lot of people show a great image. <clears throat> people show their lives, people show what they're eating, people show their bodies. And just because your journey doesn't look like theirs, or just because your body doesn't look like theirs, or just because your diet doesn't look like theirs, doesn't mean anything. Your journey is different and your end result is going to be different. You started from a different place, you're gonna end in a different place. And you need to realize that just because your journey and your end result or middle result or beginning result doesn't look like the person you follow on Instagram or watch on YouTube, doesn't mean that you're failing. It means that you are doing your journey and that's okay. Um, I think a lot of people that are promoted in the eating disorder recovery world are very thin when they claim recovery and I think that that has that has been discouraging and was discouraging for me when I was in the thick of recovery um, but it doesn't mean that you're failing the end result is you're going to be the recovered person that you are and that will be a beautiful person no matter what it look compares to another person Number five is perfectionism. If you're failing at any of these things that I've said, or if you're realizing that maybe you aren't achieving the right mindset around recovery, have grace. Part of this is having grace. Part of recovery is having grace. You're not struck by the same rules. You shouldn't be stuck to rules in recovery and you shouldn't be stuck to rules with how you're eating. Your eating disorder was brutal. It told you terrible things. It is still telling you terrible things. Recovery should be a space of healing. Recovery shouldn't be a spattering yourself with disguised eating disorder insults. You don't have to be perfect every day. It is totally fine to struggle. It is, I have eaten many meals sobbing. It doesn't mean that I'm crying. It doesn't mean I'm failing. It just means that this is hard because it is hard and it is one of the hardest things that I've had to do. Dr. Walter K talked about uh, how a lot of people with eating restrictive eating disorder specifically <clears throat> namely anorexia have this perfectionistic mindset and when you enter in recovery that mindset doesn't go away it just gets maybe shifted on top of the recovery mindset you don't have to be perfect life isn't about being perfect it's about trying your best i hope this was helpful i hope you're doing well i really was inspired by this book and i felt compelled to make this video that identity piece of this book really struck me because I remember saying I'm trying to recover, I'm trying to recover and feeling kind of disconnected from that. But saying that I'm a recovering person kind of shifts the identity and the goal that you're trying to strive for. Anyway, I hope you're having a great week and I'll talk to you next week. Bye.